This is going to be a wild storm, Jason. I mean, we were looking at some of that rainfall, the projections at least. We could see in the Midwest two to three inches perhaps, but then there's more. We have winter storm watches and winter storm warnings posted. There's a county in Illinois, just to the southeast of the capital, Springfield, Christian County, under a flood watch and a winter storm watch just because of the dynamics of this system. So it is going to be one that brings a variety of different conditions, some spring like and then winter like. So the winter that we're expecting extends from Woodward to Wichita to Kansas City into Springfield, Illinois, even into Chicago, south of Chicago, dealing with those winter storm warnings elsewhere, Davenport and uh, into Kirksville, Missouri. It's a winter weather advisory. Colder air will be a little deeper there, so we're expecting most of it to remain on the frozen side, but just watch what happens as that moisture streams in. Of course, the two sources, like we were seeing just a couple of weeks ago, the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico, and this overrunning will continue to just filter in through Kansas and into Missouri, down into Oklahoma. Watch as we head tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock, where that wintry weather extends right along the I-44 corridor in Missouri. It's snow from KC to Quincy, not quite to Chicago yet, but later in the afternoon, we should probably see some of that ride north. And it's the area through central Illinois into central Indiana, eventually Ohio, where we could see the heavy rain. And then once that cold air is deep enough, see that transition to potentially some freezing rain, some sleet, and also some snow before this system will wrap up and that cold air filters in behind and we should see the change over to all snow. The gradient, the difference in the amount of snow that we'll see is going to be very tight. Kansas City, just to the south side of the city, we could see upwards of five to eight inches through portions of northeastern Missouri and into Illinois. You head a little farther south, those totals dramatically wind down. You head north, same goes as that colder, drier air will be winning out. What we're expecting in the capital of Missouri, Jeff City, temperatures at this point, Wednesday into Thursday, supportive of all rain, and then that transition occurs as we're below surface at the, at the uh, below freezing at the surface, and then at about 35 degrees, meaning that melting layers probably bringing some freezing rain, possibly some sleet before it turns to all snow. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.